Okay, so after a small technical glitch, we're back. <laughs> oh, baby can. And flight simulator that does, doesn't like to be minimized. It almost doesn't want to open sometimes. But I'm back. I didn't crash. Because I don't have to set to pause. That's another thing that you can't have set on that sim. Is pause on task switch. So even though it's not on the screen, it's still doing its own thing. Definitely over the pump of the mountain. The highest point is in the north end, and then it's very it hits. Yeah, it's a good little mountain, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna be playing on that end due to the whole permadeath situation. Yeah. Um, it requires the crashes, which and uh, on VATSIM isn't recommended just because of all the glitches. So, and also I have AI traffic on instead of uh, VATSIM traffic because, uh, especially this area, uh, it doesn't get much VATSIM traffic. So. set trim and for those who don't know what trim is basically what a trim does is <coughs> uh, trim sets for a specific speed so it will do its best to maintain that speed even by tilting your plane slows up to slow it down or down to speed it up so when you set a uh, trim for a level flight. You're basically setting yourself a level flight. That's how it will keep you level. Winnipeg Center, Cessna November 09 or 614 miles north of Charlie Tilly, Cleveland 5, down. request IFR to Charlie Tilly ready to copy. Cessna November 09 or 614 miles north of Cessna November 0906 14 clear to Charlie Tree at November 2 airport as filed. Clock 1073. Cessna 614 miles north of Charlie Tree at November 2 airport as filed. Clock 1073. Cessna 614 miles north of Charlie Tree at November 2 airport as filed. Clock I have probably set. We're starting to drift to the left. I'm gonna just fly back again. Also, when you're turning the weight changes the airflow over your wings, you're gonna sink and stuff a little bit. Just gotta watch out for that. Oh yeah. I do actually need to go a little bit more left because oops. The runway runs basically like this. Just a short flight, like I say, just open across the open prairies. See, now I'm kind of flying. Cessna 614, traffic is 1 o'clock, uh, 4 miles at 8,000. Piper, Archer, report them at sight. Piper, follow X ray mic, traffic is 10 o'clock, 4 miles at 4,000. Cessna Skyhawk, report them at sight. Piper, Bravo, X ray mic, traffic in sight. Cessna 614, have the traffic. Right. So, I'm, as I'm uh, VFR, I'm not really going to be talking with ATC on this flight. 
but it's there for you guys to listen to while I fly along. Uh, yes, yeah, so basically you guys are going to be telling me where to go with, with passengers or cargo that I'm taking. Uh, cargo on this plane will be up to 300 pounds. Or or uh, I can't take one to another one but me. Also, it's also going to depend on the fuel, so... Even though the max is 300, I have too much fuel in the Traffic alerts, that's not fun. This is 614, it's not responding. <laughs> that's not good. Either. How much make it when to drift? It always does that, basically. I think it's another downside to uh, this controller. I use it for uh, driving in your truck simulator too, as well, and it always likes to veer to the left slightly. Yeah, getting weather updates. Yeah. Extended periods of time. 